Well, welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks and it's spring semester 2013. In this video session, I'll teach you how to use Python scripting to compute the distance between points. And this is one of the problems you'll have in this week's assignment at the NRM 638 website. So for example, here are animal location points. And what we want to know is what's the distance traveled between points. So for example, here's the first location and here's the second location. So what's the distance traveled to go from point one to point two and then store that distance in a field for each point starting with point two. So that's the basic problem is what's the distance traveled between points and what we'll do is we'll start with a simple example. Okay so here's a simple example I'm going to use to teach you with and we've got five points in this example and what we want to do is for every point except for the first point, what was the distance traveled, and then store that in the point attribute table. So for example, for point two, the distance traveled to get to point two was one meter, so that would be stored in the attribute um, for point number two. And then basically from point two to point three, it's one meter, and then point three to point four, it's one meter. And then point five will have the distance of 1.41 stored in that distance field for point five. So that's what we're gonna do in our Python scripting. So how do we do that? Okay, so what we'll do is import our OGR module, and then we'll create a driver to understand Esri shapefiles. And then we'll open our um, point shape file, and we need to open it with read ac write access because we're going to add a field to this shape file to contain our distance between points. And then we'll create our point layer object. And then we'll add a field that will contain the distance between points and it'll be a, a floating point field and we'll name it um, distance underscore m because the distance will be in meters. And then we'll add that field to our shape file. So that would be using the dot create field function. So if I go dot, I'll see all the functions applicable to my layer object. And there is a create field function. And that will be my field, which I defined as distance field. So control C and then control V to paste. Okay, so now my shape file has a distance field. So now we can calculate what's the distance between points. So in order to do that, we're gonna use um, Pythagorean theorem so basically take the x-coordinate from the first point minus the x-coordinate from the next point, square it, plus the y-coordinate from one point minus the y-coordinate from the next point, square it, and take the square root. So basically to use the square root function, we have to use that from the math module. So we'll import the math module so we have access to the square root function. Okay, so normally what we would do is loop through every point in this point shape file. So we could do that using a loop. And I'm gonna comment this out because I just wanna do it with the first two points. But basically this would be the loop we would use is for i in the range from one to the number of points that we have. So one is because um, we're not gonna get the distance to the first point because we don't know where the previous point was. We can get the distance to the second point because the previous point was the first point. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just set i is equal to one and we'll step through this process. So we'll get our first point feature. So that's actually gonna be uh, in index zero, so i minus one. 
and then we'll get our second point feature. Okay, and then from those, we'll get the shape field to get the actual point geometry. So our first point we'll call PT1, and the next point we'll call PT2. Okay, so we could double check. We could say, oh, well, let's look at PT1 dot to see all the functions applicable to that object. And there's an object um, export to well-known text. So let's look at that point. So that point is sitting at zero, zero, and then Alt P to recall previous command. And let's look at our second point, which would be the next point. And that's sitting at a coordinate of X zero, Y one. So basically the next step is from these point objects, we'll extract the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. So we'll use the dot get x function and the dot get y function. So for example, our first point, we'll call the x coordinate um, x1, and we'll call the y coordinate y1. So then what's in x1 and what's in y1? And then we would do the same thing for our next point. So we'll call that x2, and we'll call this y2. OK, so now we've got um, x1, x2, y1, y2. So we'll print those. So we could use uh, Pythagorean theorem to get the straight line distance between any two points given their x, y coordinates. So the straight line distance would be take the square root of the difference in the x's squared plus the difference in the y's squared. So lo and behold, our distance between those two points is a distance of one. So then what we want to do is set that distance field to our second point. So basically it's going to be what was the distance from the previous point. So then we'll just set that field. And then we'll save it to our shape file. So that would be not create feature, it'll be set feature because it's an existing point shape file. So now if we open up our point attribute table, we would see that for point number two, for this field, it'll have a value of one. And that simply says, okay, the distance from the previous point was one. Okay, so we would go through the loop up until our last point. So what was our last point? It would be index four, since we're starting with index zero. So let's set i equals four, and we'll calculate the distance from the next to the last point up to the last point. So i is equal to four. And we'll get the next to the last point feature. And then we'll get the last point feature. And then we'll get the point geometry from these two features. And then we'll get the X and Y coordinates from these two points. And then our last point and then let's see what the x y coordinates are for our 
last two points in this series of points. So an x of 1 for the one point and an x of 2 for our last point, and then 0 and 1. So let's do this um, print x1, y1, x2, y2. Oops. Alt P for previous command, and we need a comma. Okay, so we're going from uh, one point at one in the x and zero in the y, and then we're going over one and up one. So then what's that distance? So that should be the hypotenuse of the right triangle, and that is a distance of 1.41. And then basically what you would do is set that field for our last point, and then we'll save it. Okay, so we'll look at the attribute table and we should have a distance from our first point to our second point in the attribute table right now, and a distance from the next to the last point to the last point in our attribute table. Okay, so our first point, we don't know where the previous point was, so that will always be a distance of zero. And our second point was a distance of one from the previous point, and our last point was a distance of 1.4 from our previous point. So let me zoom out a little bit. So there is 0.5, our last point, and here is 0.4, the previous point. So the distance between those two points is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, or 1.41. Okay, so if you go to the NRM, six, NRM 638 website, one of the problems for this week is dealing with computing um, distances traveled between animal location points.